e-commerce ads on Facebook. Facebook has over 2.2 billion active users. If you are selling something, your target customer is definitely on there, but do you know how to find them? Even if you think you know everything about Facebook ads, you're going to want to watch this because I'm going to cover some pretty advanced stuff. So if you want to learn my strategy and how you can use it to generate more sales in your online business, come with me and let's get started. Four, three, two, one. Uh, and I'm back for the third time and the motor on in the turbine. Hello my friends and welcome back. How's your day going? It's been a hell of a day here in Singapore and to be honest with you, I'm still pretty pumped up because I went to the F1 last weekend, which was unreal. I'll roll a quick clip of that. Today I'm going to take you from somebody who is very confused with no results to a complete pro that is crushing it with Facebook ads. Now, hearing somebody talk is great, but on this channel, I pride myself on bringing you content that is practical, realistic, and that will drive you to take action. I've taken this to the next level by creating an ebook for you guys, which I'm gonna take you through in today's video. This is totally free, and if you want a copy to take away for yourself, the description will be down below, it's all yours. You don't even have to give me an email address, it is literally just completely for free. It's completely for free. Just, just take it, just go. If practical and actionable content like this is something that you find value in, then hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future resources. Now what I need you to do is come with me because we are about to increase your sales. All right guys, here we are inside my computer and this is the document that I've created for us. So today I'm going to take you through this document and show you exactly how to apply this strategy in your e-commerce store. First of all, there are two key elements that you really need to master, right? This is what we're going to cover today. So you've got to know exactly how to target a customer and then you need to know how to create lookalike ads, how to test them out and how to keep optimizing them. Now, I cannot stress enough that finding your target customer and actually targeting their correct interests is the most important part. There are so many people that don't do their research first and this is why they claim that Facebook ads don't work or they end up wasting a lot of money. So by doing this first part properly, it's gonna help you so much in the long run. So what we need to do is create a lookalike audience. Now, the way in which we create this is by taking an existing set of data from customers that we already have and then retargeting people that have those same interests. Now, I can hear you saying, Tom, I don't have any existing customers. How am I supposed to do this? Well, my friend, do not worry because I'm going to walk you through the exact process of how you can get a lookalike audience generated within 24 hours so you can start targeting ads the very next day. And if you already have customers, then even better. So for those of you playing at home, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is install the Facebook Pixel. This is what it is right here. So the Facebook Pixel is basically a piece of code that you copy and paste into your website. And what it does is it tracks everybody who visits your website, gathers their information, and then it allows you to take that information and use it to create lookalike audiences. In the document, I've put in a link to the official guide by Facebook on how to install this and how to use it. So before you do anything else, make sure you install the Facebook Pixel on your website. If you don't do this, then all of the visitors that you're going to get while you're running your ads is going to be wasted data that you could have used to retarget. Before we even think about opening our ads manager, we need to learn how to effectively target an interest on a Facebook ad. If the interests that you're targeting are too broad, then you're going to be hitting a whole lot of people with your ad that don't actually want to buy it. That's why you need to keep things specific in order to only target the buyers. Now I'm going to take us through an example using the basketball industry to show you how you would target somebody. So I'm selling basketball products, therefore I'm going to target people who like LeBron James, James Harden and ESPN, right? Stop. No, that is not who you're going to target. Okay, so this is far too broad. When you're trying to target someone, you need to use this method right here, the but no one else would method, okay? The example here is that, of course, a basketball enthusiast would know who LeBron James is, but also so would a lot of non-basketball people. LeBron James is a big public figure, he's a super famous celebrity, and he impacts people outside the realm of basketball. If you bring it into this blue circle here, now we're talking Kevin Durant, still an all-star, a lot of people know who he is, but you probably know something about basketball or at least a little bit about basketball in order to know who Kevin Durant is. 
you're a casual basketballer. Then bring us into this middle orange circle here, Damian Lillard. If you know who Damian Lillard is, you are probably a basketball enthusiast or you at least know a bit about basketball. It shows that you fall outside of that regular person that we would end up targeting if we just put LeBron James or if we put Kevin Durant. By putting Damian Lillard, you know you're gonna be hitting somebody who has an interest in basketball. So this can be applied to anything, right? So you need to apply this to whatever you're selling. And then once you've got that, that's when we can start looking at how exactly we get this lookalike audience. So now we know exactly how we're gonna target the interests of people when we create our Facebook ad, so we can actually look at creating one. Now I'm gonna show you three options of how you can generate the data that you need to create a lookalike audience. To create a lookalike audience, you need to get at least 100 pieces of data. That means that you need 100 people to engage with a post or 100 people to visit your website. So how are we going to get that? Our first option is to create a lookalike audience using a Facebook traffic ad. Now we can actually jump over to Ads Manager right here. Boom, here we are in Ads Manager. Welcome to your battle station. You have to learn it and you have to love it. The first thing we're gonna do is click on here. Boom, create an ad this nice green button. And if we were going to create an ad for traffic, we'd come down here and we'd click on traffic. Easy as that. Now I'm not going to create the ad in this video because that would take too long, but the whole idea here is that this ad is going to send traffic to your website. When people go to your website, your Facebook pixel is gonna collect their data and then once you have 100 pieces of data at minimum, you can use this data to create a lookalike audience and then you'll be able to retarget your ads back at that lookalike audience, which is a much more refined version of what you originally targeted. The people that we get from this lookalike audience are going to be even better and we're gonna have a higher chance of converting and selling to them. The second way that you can do it is by using a Facebook engagement ad. That would mean we come back to our ads manager here and we'd simply click on engagement, right? Then you go through the steps of creating the ad. The difference here is that an engagement ad is simply a post that would be a picture or a video. You're not actually sending them off of the Facebook website. You're just getting them to engage with your page while staying on Facebook. What you're gonna do here is collect likes, collect comments and shares. Now with the likes, comments and shares that your post collects, Facebook will let you generate a lookalike audience based on those people. So this is a great option if for whatever reason you don't have a website yet and you still want to get a lookalike audience, maybe you just want to start practicing for when you launch your website. Either way, an engagement ad has the least barriers to entry and it's a very easy way to create your first lookalike audience. All right, now option number three is to create a lookalike audience using website traffic generated by an Instagram influencer shout out. So if we're rolling with this basketball example, you would go and find a basketball influencer and you basically buy a shout out from them. If you don't know how to buy a shout out, Google it, there's heaps of guides out there on how to buy a shout out. When you buy this shout out, you wanna ask them to put the link to your website in their bio and also create a swipe up Instagram story where people swipe up, it'll send them to your website. This can be quite a cost effective way to get 100 visits because if you think about it, if you work with an influencer who has you know over 100K followers, all you need is 100 people to swipe up on their Instagram story and you've got your Facebook pixel. These big influencer pages typically get thousands of views on their stories, so to get 100 people to swipe up is a pretty reasonable ask. I've shown you three options here of how you can generate that first data set that you need to create a lookalike audience. But it doesn't stop here. You need to optimize your ad. Yes, you can run lookalike ads after only having 100 visitors, but this sample size is gonna be very generic and it's not big enough to have a powerful and really accurately targeted ad. So you need to keep collecting information and then use that to create even more powerful lookalike audiences. Once you start getting people adding to cart and checking out on your site, you can collect this data and then you can target a specific lookalike audience of people who have added to cart or of people who have checked out. At this point, this is where you would optimize for a conversion ad. Look here and this is where you come over to the next side of your ads manager and boom, we click on conversions. And this is really where the magic happens. This is the whole goal and the whole idea of what you wanna do with this lookalike audience. You wanna make more sales. The end goal here is to create a high amount of quality data of people who have actually checked out and purchased something from your website. So then you can take this and optimize it into a lookalike audience and then use this lookalike audience to target new customers. 
This is where the magic happens. This is where your ads will become incredibly accurate, very powerful, and they will start to really increase your conversions. Just remember, there are 2.2 billion people on Facebook, so your customers are out there somewhere. You just need to take the time to actually refine your ad strategy. You will find them. Now, I wanna reiterate that Facebook ads are still a very cost-effective way of advertising. They are so cheap right now compared to what they will be in five years, so make the most of them now. If you wanna get your hands on this ebook that I've taken you through in the video, the link is in the description down below. This is completely for free. I literally don't want anything for it. I'm all about giving value, so there it is, it's for you. Take it and run with it. Now, giving out practical value is literally all I do here, so if you wanna keep getting these useful resources, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and until then, hey, cheers mate. Four, three, two, one. Uh. And I'm back for the third time, and the motor on in the turbine. A lot of people that have heard rhyme, but